Hey guys, Sadha here from Geek My Day and some people say that uh, this man has been alive since centuries. Some people say he was the reason that uh, World War II ended. But we call him the Stig! <laughs> uh, okay, so in this video we are going to be doing the... Un what the hell? What the hell, man? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're going to talk about the R8 Lite. Uh, it is uh, Huawei's new phone, and it's like uh, it's basically the same thing as Honor 8, but it's like a little lighter, maybe. Yeah, I think uh, that's yeah. uh, that's pretty much an uh, understatement. Yeah, but exactly, uh, I think that's true. <laughs> Anyways, <coughs> when I got this device, uh, I said when I got. <coughs> The reasons why we loved the Honor 8 was that it was not so expensive. Yeah. It was still a flagship phone and it uh, had a really good build quality. Right? So the and these are the reasons why we love this phone as well. You know, it's a it's the it's cost uh, <coughs> the price of this phone, the price for of this phone, the quality of this phone don't really match up. Yeah. It costs like dirty, two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, but yeah. the quality is it's amazing. The quality is, I think, <coughs> as good as the as good as some flagship phones. <coughs> the quality is. I mean, mostly when we talk about, you know, when we use the expression that this phone's price is not matched, its build quality, we mostly mean, and most people mostly mean that you know you're paying more and you're getting less. Yeah. But with this phone, I think you're paying less and getting more. Yeah. Okay, so now we talk about what is the box. Yes. Of course, it's a phone, definitely, it's outside. And, uh, and the phone comes... Now time for Mr. Pala to open the box. Okay, so the phone... Even before we get into the phone... Okay, so the box has... The it box also has a cover. The box itself, uh, the box itself is pretty compact. And uh, I think, uh, I don't understand why it's uh, always put there sideways. Yeah. You know, but uh, yeah, it's just a box, I don't really, yeah. I don't really care about the box. Because, uh, personally, I think that they, they put the phone sideways because it's a new trend. And also, it protects the phone. Yeah. You know, when the phone is uh, uh, on its front, if it, it falls down, and then you have more damage. But when the phone is packed between being two layers, then definitely it's more protected. Maybe. maybe yeah, maybe. The, it might be one of the reasons. Okay, okay so... And personally, uh, I think this is. I think it looks pretty Because cool. this is a mid-range uh, budget for budget device, you know, they, they yeah. don't get too much fancy stuff in the box. Yeah, and you get most itself, of the stuff. And the box itself is not very fancy. Yeah. You no, know, it's pretty... it does the job. Yeah. yeah. Although they've changed the, the, the phone uh, box a little bit. Which mostly they have it. Uh, <coughs> mostly they have cuffs. <laughs> okay, so it comes with a, a cable with pretty standard micro USB cable, yeah. which is not USB Type C. Yeah. So that's one gripe I have with this phone is that it's not Type C. I think every device should be Type C because I'm a crazy man about Type C. Yeah. And so there's also this. Uh, wall mount adapter, yeah. which is which is again um, not a supercharger, not a supercharger. Yeah, there's no quick charging in this phone. Yeah, but let's move on. Okay, so and also there are yeah. these uh, earphones. Yeah, which uh, are again pretty normal. And uh, this. What about the audio quality of these? I well, think. I haven't used them yet, but they look pretty mediocre. But uh -huh. uh, the thing which is that the star of the uh, box is not these uh, little things. I think mm. to keep the budget, uh, to keep uh, the price uh, this low, there would have to be some com compromises. Cutbacks, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, it's uh, pretty good that uh, the quality of the device is yeah. still pretty high quality. Yeah. Yeah, and the materials uh, in the phone are still pretty high quality, except that uh, we don't really get the high quality earphones or supercharging and little mm -hmm. things like that. So I think that it's a pretty good payoff. You know, you don't get, you don't yeah. lose a lot of stuff. But you still have keep uh, most of the glue stuff. Yeah, and it yeah. also comes with a cover. Yeah, the cover. Like mostly, yeah. most of uh, Huawei devices. Most of the Huawei devices. The last three phones we have used all came with a cover. Yeah. And that's pretty good because I'm pretty flimsy with phones. I, can, I keep dropping them every, all yeah. the time. So that's nice. Okay, so let's talk about the phone, which uh, is just it just looks incredibly beautiful. Yeah, that's it's device. pretty elegant, and yeah. then it has round. It doesn't have any edges. No sharp edges, it's just round. Yeah, it's the, like the glass wraps around uh, the edges, yeah. You know, sort of like the Samsung Galaxy uh, S7, or maybe iPhone 7. Yeah, uh, iPhone has this, uh, <clears throat> it, it, it looks, it looks a lot much like, uh, like the uh, Google uh, Pixel, yeah, the iPhone, Pixel, Google Pixel, iPhone. Yeah. And the amazing thing is that the camera is integrated in the back, yeah. The camera the doesn't protrude out, yeah. It's, it's not protruding out, it's uh, inside, 
Yeah, it looks it's beautiful. fresh and yeah, yeah. So that's so that's pretty nice. And but the, the but I'm a I'm a fan of the build quality of this phone. Yeah. I think that this is the best looking uh, this is the best looking mid range device. I agree. You know, ever just to, <clears throat> yeah, just not from Huawei but uh, and all the uh, devices. Yeah, all, all the devices. devices. This is a pretty good. Uh, yes, this is quality. a premium phone. Yeah, it feels incredibly premium. Yes, okay. I mean and we've used the other six X with uh, that was a phone we did. Yeah, I, I didn't like the build quality of that. Yeah, phone. it was like even it was though even though cheap it, plastic and even though it has the same exact same uh, specifications. specifications. So in, yeah, in yeah. the Honor six X, uh, it uh, it had the uh, metal back with plastic yeah. something, but even then uh, it didn't feel very high no. quality to me. You know, no. it felt very light. Yeah, it was but, it, it felt cheap. Honestly speaking, yeah, it, it, like it. but this device does uh, feel. Yeah, it has heft. Yes, you know, it, it feels like you're holding something of actually good quality. Definitely. You know, even though the specs are the same, yeah. I would advise to not uh, buy the six X. Yeah, rather instead, go for this one. Instead, go for the this one. Definitely, but it's then it's all upon you. Yeah, whatever you like. But personally, I prefer I glass this. glass back phones. So especially this phone. Yeah, so so the real thing to take away from this is that build quality is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. It looks fantastic in video. It looks fantastic in hand. In college, everyone was like, "Oh, what's this?" You know, and yeah. I then I told them the price of this phone, and they were like, "Oh, no way, get out of here." Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Right. Yeah, they mostly say that to him. Get out of here. Yeah, they mostly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the best way, the best way to really talk about this phone is to compare it with the with its brother Honor Eight. Yeah, you know what are the sacrifices you make <clears throat> between yeah. the Honor Eight and the Honor Eight yeah. Lite? Honor Eight is the older brother. This is the younger brother. Yeah, also much cheaper. It's light. It's lit. Okay, so that's the first thing that you will notice is that the side uh, sides of this phone are not made of metal, which is uh, which is a thing in the Honor Eight. Yeah. In the Honor Eight, the sides are all metal. Okay. Yeah. But in this phone, the sides are made of plastic. Mm-hmm. But it it's not uh, low quality pl- plastic. It's very yeah. it's still polished. It has yeah. this brush metallic. A feel to it, which I think really brings out uh, the overall. The, exactly. Really brings out the whole phone. Yeah. No. And it also has this. Uh, the sides are not just black. They're like uh, they're very dark white beads green. inside. Yeah. Very it looks d- very, very dark gray. Yeah. It looks. Yeah. It's not black. It's gray basically. Yeah. The side. And it looks beautiful. I mean, it really it looks, looks beautiful. Good. Yeah. Okay. So and the buttons are also very high quality. Yes. They're not uh, usually when uh, talking about plastic phones. Uh, I. I feel like the buttons are going to be very janky and yeah, you know, but here the buttons are solid. Yes. Yeah. The, there's not much compromise in the build quality in the Honor Eight and the Honor Eight Lite. Yeah. Okay. And the only difference is the in inner specs of the phone. Yeah. I think, um, and the thing I was surprised by was that uh, it it feels just like the Honor Eight. Yeah. You no, know, it also it just feels like that, and uh, there's uh, not even it, it even weighs almost the same. Mm-hmm. You no, know, and there's no si- size uh, difference. No, yeah. it's, it's uh, the, the same size as the Honor 8 mm-hmm. you know, and, and same high quality 1080p panel so, yeah. which I think it, that's really good there's no compromise in the build uh, and the structure yeah. of the phone and you know how it is um, I'm pretty sure if you if you buy the Honor 8 mm-hmm. accessories the, uh, like the front or back cover I think it's probably gonna fix the fit with this phone yeah most you know? likely yeah it's because it's the not same, sure, but, uh, same dimensions same dimension and same yeah. uh, same uh, lightness it's almost as a, it's the same t- thickness as the Honor 8. Yeah. So I think that they did a pretty good job there. Yeah. And one more thing, uh, you know, Huawei has put this uh, this amazing trend in the market. Whenever they release a high-end phone, they release a light version of that phone. Mm-hmm. So this is something that Huawei came up with, and I think they're doing a pretty good job with that. Yeah. You no, know, rather than buying a you know mid-range phone that, like Honor 6X, I mean that is another range. With this yeah. phone, you buy like. A, a little bit more compromise on the high-end smartphone yeah. and you, you still manage to get most of the specifications out of that. Yeah, yeah that, okay. So that's the, uh, let's uh, quickly go through the spec- specifications mm-hmm. of this phone. Yeah. Okay, so there's the, uh, the there's the 3000 milliamp hour battery. Mm-hmm. All right, and, the, and the, in the four or five days that you use the phone, the battery life has been tremendously good. Yeah, definitely. Right. As you've uh, um, discussed it before, all Huawei phones we've used by far. By far, have yes. Had and, the streak, and the streak yeah. continues. Definitely. Right. I mean, my father has an Honor 3 series. I mean, he used to have. I still have it. And even after two years of time, uh, it still has a tremendous back line. Uh, actually, we've been... Uh, in the past four or five phones in Huawei, mm-hmm. the one thing that has been consistent in all our 
and all our discussion is that the battery life, life is, is very very good. It's awesome. Yeah, and there's best thing it's USB Type C. Yeah, yeah and no supercharging and no yeah. supercharging. But uh, <clears throat> the battery life of this phone is very very good. Uh, so the streak still continues. I'm waiting yeah. for a device. <clears throat> I'm still waiting for a device from Huawei that uh, breaks this still that yeah. actually comes with terrible battery. Life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no. The uh, phone. The phone also has a fingerprint sensor. Yeah. On the back. Yeah. Which uh, I think it's the same sensor as the Mate Nine and the Honor Eight. Uh, yeah, I think they have the same sensors for all. Yeah, their phones. because uh, it's just as quick. Yeah. Uh, it's just as quick and just as fast and yes. it recognizes fingerprints all the time. Like if you see right here, like I'm gonna just do it. And I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna hold my finger yeah. on the thing. I'm just gonna swipe through it really quickly, and boom. <laughs> I'm just gonna slide slide it really quickly, and boom. And I'm just gonna slide it really quickly. And, uh, you see that third, third time is a charm. No, no third time <laughs> not the charm, and he's just bad mouthing the phone. It's like you know you don't even have to switch on the phone. You just put your finger on the. Yeah, that he, he did it quickly. Yeah, my fingers. <coughs> yeah, he was stupid. Okay, so now about the performance of this phone. Yeah, yeah. the phone is powered by a Kirin six fifty five processor. Yeah, which is pretty much a mid range processor. Mm -hmm. No, it's a, it competes against the Snapdragon six fifty, which is mm -hmm. also a mid range processor. Yeah, but I think that uh, in the previous phone we yeah. had the Honor six X, it also had the six fifty five. And the performance uh, here uh, in that phone and in this phone is completely different. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe the the optimization is is different. Mm -hmm. or maybe it's because that phone has Android Marshmallow. Yeah. With, it's a, with the older EMUI, older the older EMUI was incredibly heavy. Yeah. On the system, so this phone has the uh, Android Nougat and mm -hmm. EMUI five, which is very light on the phone. Mm -hmm. So I think that's where I've noticed that I'm able to run more applications in the background. I'm able to have a much more uh, uh, quick and snappy experience. Yeah, and more around with 3, 3 gigs of RAM. Yeah. And 2.1 gigs of Octa Pro processor. Yeah, so that's it. The performance is pretty pretty good for this yeah. phone. I think in the four or five days, I haven't been able to find anything that... Uh, Wrong about the device. Yeah, that makes me feel like, oh, yeah. but uh, this is frustrating. Yeah. You know, in, the, in these far past few days, everything has been pretty smooth with this mm -hmm. one. The performance, there wasn't uh, much lag. Mm -hmm. you know, I think they have done a really good job in the, toning down the game. Yeah. You know, they, it used to be so heavy, but now it's pretty pretty sleek and pretty simple. Yeah. yeah and the, and uh, the end result of this entire discussion is that it's like when you pack something with a better you know, wrapper or something, then it becomes a better thing. People are more attracted to that thing. And this phone is the same thing. I mean, with this body and this build quality outside, you you know, see <coughs> it looks even better than looks most very of the good. phone. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it has the same thing as Honor 6X, but I would prefer this phone over many other phones. And the Honor 6X as well. Yes. Okay. Many other phones because of how beautiful this device looks. I mean, rather than buying a $400 phone, which has the same body, definitely better specs, but this phone has that in $250. Yeah. It's really a good bargain. Yeah, I think this might be the best, uh, the best uh, mid range. As I said before, this might be the best yes. budget smartphone. Yeah, you know you could buy right yes. now. I agree. Okay, so that has been our uh, overall impressions really and the nice. overall impressions and the unboxing of this phone. Inshallah, sometime later we are going to be doing the full review where mm -hmm. we will talk in the more in depth and uh, we will go into the camera and the just yes. the little nitty gritty stuff of the phone. So please subscribe to our channel. And uh, you. if you like this video, please share it uh, on the internet. If uh, that's yeah. but that's a thing that gets true these days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it really helps us if you share this video. Yes, and subscribe on our YouTube page and like our Facebook page. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Thank you.